The Drum of the Animals A musical fairy tale from Africa You may think it not nice to play tricks on others. That might be true. But sometimes you can do it just for fun. Listen to Brother Hare's story. The animals in the bush were bored. Every day was like the next always eating and eating, going back home in the evening, only to burp and digest, nothing else, a life as dull as ditch water. One day Brother Monkey said, let's make music every evening, otherwise things are unbearable. The lion answered, that's all well and good, but tell us how we can make music, clever clocks. Brother Monkey had been expecting such a regal rejection. He quickly came up with an answer. Our wise animals say, he who has seen 80 grasslands and 80 mountains can talk to 80 year olds. I have traveled far, very far indeed. I have spent much time in the neighborhood of these strange creatures which walk upright. I mean those creatures that wish us nothing but evil. Hardly surprising. What more to expect from creatures who only use two of their limbs instead of doing the decent thing and walking down on earth on all fours like every... The king of the animals interrupted him. And what has all of this babbling got to do with music? That's just what I was about to tell you. I've been in the position to observe these creatures, which are called humans, as they were playing music every evening. They played drums and were delighted doing so. It is difficult to imagine that they are the same people who hunt us. a drum? asked Uncle Hyena, wanting to get into the king's good books. Brother Monkey explained that a drum is made of leather. He suggested that every animal give a little piece of its skin to make a drum out of these patches. The animals were desperate to escape from the boredom and so they welcomed the monkey's idea. Every animal gave a little piece of skin and they made a beautiful drum that sounded wonderful. When they were finished, the animals were very happy. Making the drum was a great distraction in itself. The hare was the only one who did not want to be game. My skin is the most precious thing I have. I'm not going to give you any of it, not one little bit. The animal's answer to this was clear. 
He who does not help to make the drum will not play the drum. The long-eared hare laughed to himself and said to his neighbor the buffalo, I will play your drum, just you wait and see. The buffalo called out loudly what the hare had just said. The animals decided to keep the drum in a house and keep constant watch over it. The monkey took first watch. After all, it had been his idea to make a drum. Late morning, after the hare had had breakfast, he came to the drum house and greeted Brother Monkey. Good day, dear brother. You're here after all. I didn't expect that. The monkey gave a curt answer and asked the hare to be on his way. The hare reassured him. I'm sure you think I'm here because of the drum. No, I'm just surprised that you are sitting here while all of the other monkeys are having a grand old time on the big Nere tree. Monkeys love eating these fruits of the savanna, and so the monkey on guard asked the hare to tell him more about Nere. Oh well, began the hare, I've just had my breakfast in the east. There is a large Nere tree there which every monkey knows about. Of course, the monkey knew about this tree and asked the hare to get to the point. The hare told him that the monkeys had decided to harvest the tree today. The hare said he had even heard some of the monkeys saying how happy they were that the cleverest monkey wasn't with them. The monkey asked the hare, Please, take over keeping watch of the drum for a while. I'll be right back. The monkey set off towards the tree, whose fruit makes all monkey hearts beat faster. In the meantime, a beautiful drum melody could be heard. All animals in the bush listened to it and were amazed. Some of them praised the monkey. Oh, doesn't the monkey play well? He must have learned that from the creatures who walk upright. I can't believe it. We've got to go and have a look. And who did they find? The hare, who quickly disappeared when he saw that the animals had found him out. The animals were very angry. A monkey is not a good guard. We need a better one. They chose hyena. Brother hyena would be better because it was said that nothing could distract him during the day. Only at night could he be tempted. The hyena promised to deal with the hare if he came along. Next day after breakfast, the hare came prancing along to the drum house again. He greeted Uncle Hyena and asked who was taking his place at the great mule feast in the south. The hyena had heard nothing of this feast, so he demanded that the hare tell him more. The hare was surprised that the attack carried out by the king of the animals was kept secret precisely from the strongest of all the hyenas. Last night, our king attacked some travelers and killed all of their pack mules. Now they are starting to rot exquisitely in the sun. It smells delicious. The king has given the spoils of his hunt to the hyenas. Right now they are sharing them out. And you are sitting here. 
Is that an order from the king? I don't want to poke my nose in, but I don't think that's very nice. The hare could have gone on talking, but he was interrupted by the hyena, who ordered him to take over the watch. This he shouted out as he was already running south. You could tell by his voice that his mouth was watering. In the south, there was no trace of dead mules. The hyena was very annoyed. He also thought of all the insults that the other animals would throw his way. In the meantime, clear drum sounds could be heard, enchanting all of the animals. They decided to go to the hyena and congratulate him. He might not smell very nice, but you've got to admit his music is wonderful. And who did the animals find at the drum house? The hare. They could scarcely believe it. Talking of scarce, the hare made himself scarce very quickly. Other animals were tricked by the hare. They called a gathering of the animals to look for a solution. The tortoise, and there was no one older than the tortoise, spoke. I crawl slowly, but this means I have more time to observe things closely. I am always amused by the fearfulness of the monkeys, who do not dare go into the cornfields of the humans because they see a human figure there. Usually these aren't humans at all, but resin dolls, which, be on your guard, can become dangerous when touched. Because these guards are very sticky. I propose that we make such a doll as a god. Then you will see the result. These were the words of experience, of observation. The animals set to work. On the very next day, a man was standing in front of the drum house. This surprised the hare so much that he started to stutter. Good, 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 morning. He repeated his greeting, but received no reply. He plucked up his courage and insisted that the human answer. But no answer came, which enraged the hare. He threatened to box the human's ears if he carried on ignoring him. But the threat was to no avail, as the human did not move. The hare boxed him on the ears. The hare's paw stuck to the human. Oh, let me go, cried the hare in anger. Otherwise I'll use my left paw. And that is even more dangerous. The left paw also got stuck. Let me go, otherwise I'll treat you with painful kicks. And his right leg got stuck. Then he threatened to use his left leg. And now the poor hare was caught, stuck with both hands and feet to the human. He screamed and wriggled but could not escape.
The animals were surprised that they had not heard any drum sound all day. Had the hare stolen the drum so that he could run away with it? They were very curious when they returned home in the evening. And who did they see in front of the drum house? The hare, dying of thirst. Aha! You've tricked yourself! The animals cried. The king ordered for the people's court to decide on the hare's fate. After a short while, the sentence was pronounced. The hare was to be executed. The hare asked to say some last words. Your drum always enchanted me. Its melody was so beautiful. That is why I kept coming back. I don't regret having played the drum. Even on pain of death, I would play the drum again. But that will not happen. But I do have one last wish. You can kill me however you wish. You can dunk me in boiling oil. You can hang me whatever you wish. Alas, there's only one death that I cannot face. I don't want to drown in the morning dew. That would be the worst death of all. Please grant me this last wish. The people welcomed the hare's words and thanked him. Dear hare, thank you for choosing the method of your execution. You've been of great help. Tomorrow morning you will be executed by drowning in the dew. The people have spoken. The hare screamed and pleaded with the animals. These were all looking forward to the execution. Early in the morning the elephant was ordered to carry the prisoner to the place of execution. He was followed by the people, who were already celebrating. After a while the elephant said that he had reached the place where the dew was coldest. The lion ordered him to use his trunk to throw the hare even deeper into the grass. One animal commented, Yeah, that's it. Let him bite the dust in as painful a way as possible. The hare flew high, landing deep in the grass, which was wet from the morning dew. He used the water to free himself from the resin sticking to his hands and feet. He took a refreshing bath in the dew water, quenched his thirst before shouting to the other animals, Thank you, you stupid people! I was born in the dew, I will thrive in the dew. Since that day, all of the animals have been wary of the hare. Long ears and as wily as a fox.